Stealing an exam, that's quite a personal defeat, isn't it? What was wrong? That sounds pre-programmed. Is that how you saw your future self when you were a younger man, a cheat? No. How do you explain it? There's like all this academic pressure about getting into college. My school, they're like obsessed. Is like academic pressure or academic pressure? There's all this pressure. My parents, too. My sister, she goes to Columbia, and I know my parents expect me to go. Around here, we call that stinking thinking. It's precisely the same with an alcoholic. No one makes him put that drink to his lips but himself. I'm not an alcoholic. How do we do things differently here at HMI than at your former school? I don't know. Well, I realize you don't know. I'm about to tell you. At your school, and it's not a bad school, you're right. There's too much emphasis on what's good for you, what's good for Johnny, what's good for Janie. Here, the higher good is the good of the core. As General MacArthur said in his farewell address at the point, the core, the core, the core. Now, how do we achieve this revolutionary change in thinking on your part? Cadet Corps has first call in formation 0530 each day, march in formation to first mess 0620, followed by dorm inspection 0700, classes 0800 to 1440, athletic formation 1500 except Thursdays, which is drill or commander's time. 1900 to 2100 is evening study time, taps, lights out, 2200 hours. What's missing? Give up? Television. What's 0530 mean? 5.30 a.m. I just outlined for you a blueprint for total self-discipline that would take you through your entire life, and that's your only question. Why do guys in the Army, or like spies, use that O thing when they tell time? That'll be made abundantly clear to you. For now, we have an expression around here. Keep it simple. Captain Delaney, please give Mr. Soprano the standard TOI while I meet with his parents. Sir, yes, sir. I, for one, think Anthony could greatly benefit from our program, which, as I candidly told him, is very rigorous. You mind? Hmm. I will be very frank with you, Major Swingley. I do not agree with this hard-nosed discipline. The mothers seldom do. Until he starts opening doors for you and pulling back your chair. Now, that would be a miracle. And that's not even something we thought we could hope for. Well, what about creativity, Tony? Independent thought. I stressed rather heavily with Anthony notions of duty and group think. But I didn't for now mention to him the Army's motto of today, be an army of one. Why be an army at all? How about a veterinarian? Isn't there enough war? Amputees? Horrible, displaced? He's, he's just going to march around a little bit. I wouldn't get too hung up on the marching aspect. It's part of it. But it's nothing compared to the mentoring that comes through small class size and faculty involvement in dorm life. Well, that sounds wonderful, certainly. We've created too many options for our kids. We can't blame them for being confused. Then when things go wrong, we fob them off onto the ever-burgeoning for-profit substance recovery industry. Uh, this Army of One thing. What happens when each Army of One decides, um, fuck it, I'm not going over the top of the foxhole, or... Why don't we just blow the lieutenant's head off? You know, because they've been told. You know, you're an army of one. Well, I would submit Audie Murphy was an army of one. Is that what we're preparing him for, a career in the military? No, no. One day at a time. <laughs>